hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding some shooting to our game so let's open up the shooting controller script so first of all let's remove the start and update method and at the top we need a reference to our animator so we will say animator animator okay then in the start method we are gonna say animator equals to get component we want to get the animator component that is it after this we will be needing a reference to our input manager script in order to use the inputs uh, okay these inputs from this script okay the scope file reload so we're gonna say input manager then name this as input manager as well then we need a reference to the player movement script name this as player movement as well in the start method we're gonna say input manager equals to get component and we want to get the input manager script okay then let's set up the player movement so cut component player movement that is it now after all of this let's create a header by the name of shooting variables and in here we will be now uh, adding some variables so the first one will be of type float by the name of fire rate it will be equals to 0 0.1 for now or you can just set this to 0 as well for now okay because we will be changing its value according to the rifle shooting speed okay after this we need to provide a range that how many distance the rifle bullet will travel so let's make it 100 by default after this we gonna give a value to our rifle that how many damage will it done to other player so player damage it will be by default set to 15 then after this we gonna add a private float now and this will be by the name of next fire time and this will be equals to zero by default okay then we need to create another header which will be shooting flags and in here we gonna uh, create some flags that if the rifle is reloading or if the rifle is shooting or if the player is walking and shooting and etc etc okay so let's start from the first one which is needed and that will be is shooting then the next pool will be is walking right the next one will be is shooting input so what this is shooting input will do this will check if the player is pressing the fire button or not okay and then that should be it for now okay so once you add these you can save the script get back right here and as you can see everything is set up right here all of the variables now let's go ahead and create a shoot method okay 
so this should be a private void shoot and in here now we will perform some shooting so let me tell you now how we will perform shooting we're gonna perform shooting using raycast so for example if this is our player okay don't judge my painting and this is the rifle okay and then if the player uh, I mean uh, what we gonna do is we will create a raycast okay consider this uh, the camera okay the player camera okay our third person camera so how we'll perform shooting so this is our rifle of course we can create a fire point right here but we don't want to create fire point right there okay what we're gonna do is from our main camera we're gonna create a ray okay in the forward direction and this uh, ray will be limited by our shooting uh, range okay the fire range 100 okay so it will go in the forward direction and then if this ray uh, hit another player okay then we can apply damage to that player okay in this way our shooting mechanics will work okay it will make more sense when we created our shooting controller fully so now let's first of all create a raycast hit type variable hit and this we're going to store all of the information about what we hit now let's create a ray so we can say physics dot raycast okay and as i told you we will be creating a ray from our main camera okay so we need a reference to our main camera or you can say to our fire point okay so let's right here create a reference to that so we're gonna name this as transform actually not name this as transform its type is transform and name this as fire point so now we can set the fire point either our main camera or either our rifle bullet hole okay now so right here we will create a ray from our fire point dot position and as i told you in the forward direction so we just simply gonna say fire point dot forward and whatever that this uh, ray hits we're gonna store it in the hit and we're gonna limit this by the fire range okay and then if we are creating any ray okay then what we want to do we want to store that in for uh, actually not store that information we want to show that information which is stored inside this hit so we actually gonna uh, show the name of whatever we hit Okay, so we're gonna say hit dot transform dot name. Okay. After this, we're gonna uh, extract the hit information right here, and after that, we're gonna apply damage uh, to the player. But for now, as you know, that we don't have any players, so we just gonna leave comment right here for that and when we will be having other players then we will be applying damage to them okay so don't worry about this for now so now we can shoot okay right here we are gonna play some muzzle flash effect so for now we just gonna leave comment so that we know what we need to do and also we are gonna play some sound okay and that is it now we need to call the shoot method in the right time and the right place so what we gonna do actually is now we gonna create an update method okay and in the update method we gonna say that the is walking okay this uh, flag or you can say this bool is walking will be equals to the player movement dot is moving okay so if the player movement uh, is moving is true then this is walking will be true and if it is false it will be false and after this the 
is shooting input will be equals to input manager dot fire input so if the fire input right here is true then the is shooting input will be true as well and if it is false it will be false all right then after this we gonna say that if the player is shooting and the player is walking okay then we gonna uh, perform the shoot walk animation and also we gonna shoot as well okay so for shooting we can just simply call the shoot method and for performing the animation we will say animator dot set pool we need to set the shoot walk to true okay and also of course we want uh, to shoot uh, a bit uh, we want uh, to make the shooting a little bit delay okay we don't want to shoot uh, infinity and constantly okay because in real life the rifle takes some time to shoot okay so in order to add that we're gonna say next fire time equals to time dot time plus one and we're gonna uh, divide that by the fire rate okay then after this what we're gonna do if the player is shooting and walking we gonna say in here if time dot time is greater than and equals to next fire time then we gonna shoot okay so now let me explain this so if the player is uh, pressing the shooting button and is walking then also we gonna check that if the current time is greater than the next fire time okay and if that is the case then the next fire time will be equals to current time plus one f and we're gonna multiply uh, divide that by the fire rate and then we're gonna shoot and play the shoot walk animation and then what we're gonna do we will say animator dot set pool and now we want to make the shoot false right here and also when the player is shooting and walking then we want to go inside that other substrate machine okay so for that let me first of all finish this so shooting movement will be set to true okay and also the is shooting uh, pool will be set to true as well so what this means now this means that when we are shooting and walking then we want to play this uh, this shooting uh, animation okay and as you can see we play th this when the shoot walk is true so we make the shoot walk true right here but what we did right here that when we are shooting and walking then as you know we are playing this animation but as you know that this animation is inside the shooting movement so as you know we uh, get from movement to shooting movement when the shooting movement is true so that's why right here we make the shooting movement true and the reason we make the shoot false i will show you momentarily why we are doing that okay so for that I will have to copy this whole if condition and paste it down below and change this to else if so now if we are just shooting okay if we are not moving we are not pressing the movement keys okay we are just shooting while standing on one position then we will be doing this same thing but we will now be not playing the 
shoot walk okay so we can actually make the shoot walk false okay and we will not make it false right here we're gonna cut that and we're gonna make it false right here and now instead of shoot work we're gonna make the shoot true okay and this shooting movement to false because let me show you now when the shooting movement become false it get back to the movement so now we make it false so it will get back to the movement substrate and on the movement substrate when the shoot is true then we shoot as you can see when it is true we shoot we play this animation okay we have the player stands on one place and start shooting and when it is false then we are not uh, doing anything okay so right here when we are inside the movement substrate we're gonna make uh, the shooting true and the shoot walk false but when we are in the shooting movement substrate we're gonna make the shoot walk true and the shoot false okay simple as that okay now we're gonna add a else condition at the end and in the else condition let me copy that when we are not shooting and not walking then what we want we want the shooting to be false as well the shooting movement to be false as well and the shoot walk to be false as well and also the is shooting to be false as well okay I hope it makes sense now so we can now just simply uh, save the script and we can move the animator now right down below and I want to show you that how the the these two substrate will switch between each other okay so now we need to provide the fire point as I told you the fire point will be our uh, camera manager or you can just actually add your main camera as well if you want okay so the fire rate we're gonna set that let's just set that to five for now okay and if we play the game now you will notice that we are now walking and while walking if we start shooting okay it is uh, not playing the animation and also when we are standing it is not playing the animations as well if we click on console as you can see it is not performing shooting at all as you can see and also the shooting flags are not uh, getting through at all as well as you can see so let me check it out why this is happening so as you know that our uh, inputs are not getting uh, true and false so for this if we check our input manager script right here when we are reading the values so as you know that right here in the file we say dot performed and we set this to true and right here in the second one fire dot performed it should not be performed it should be cancelled okay because we forgot to add cancelled right here okay it should not be performed it should be cancelled and the same for the scope uh, button as well okay and for the reload it should be uh, as it is okay so uh, where it is reload so player controls dot player actions dot reload dot perform plus equals to i equals to greater than reload input equals to true okay so i think the uh, issue should be fixed now if you go ahead and play it again and let's play it let me click on the animator now okay so now as you can see when i press the mouse right button the scope input is getting true okay and if i press the reload as you can see the reload is working as well for now it will not reload because we didn't type any code for reloading but now as you can see the player is in the movement uh, substrate if we start shooting as you can see it is now shooting okay and also as you can see the player is shooting itself because the camera is behind the uh, behind the player as you can see okay so the player is shooting himself okay uh, but also if we are now walking and start shooting as you can see 
the player is now uh, shooting and walking but if you notice the shoot walk animation is not playing if we check the animator if we start moving and shooting as you can see it is not going to the uh, uh, other substrate machine okay if you are shooting and start walking it doesn't work if you are walking and shooting it doesn't work as well so let me check it out why this is happening everything right here is set up okay okay so i have figured out the issue now if i show you why this is happening so if you play the game so if you notice the player movement right here okay the is moving of the player movement and the is moving of the shooting controller okay is walking actually so if we try to walk as you can see the is walking is just set to false okay it is not uh, setting to true but if we try to sprint as you can see it set uh, the is sprinting is set to true okay but the is walking is not getting true when we are walking and as you know that right here in the uh, shooting controller when we are shooting and walking then we perform the shoot walk so if the is working is false then of course it will not perform these animations so i have checked out right here uh, the problem was with our uh, if conditions right here by mistake i have uh, type equals to greater than zero it should be less than or equals to zero okay in our previous videos i forgot to do this but now make sure that you set this to minus equals to zero okay and when you do that uh, now if we play the game you will notice now that it will be working perfectly fine okay so as you can see when we are now walking the is moving of the player movement is set to true and then by that the shooting controller is walking is set to true as well and now if we start shooting as you can see the player is now shooting and walking okay and as you can see the player is now hitting the cylinder now the cube and everything as you can see okay so the player can hit anything now as you can see the player is hitting cube 003 okay if i show you the console okay if we shoot start shooting as you can see the player is shooting uh, its own self but if we start walking now the player is shooting something else what it's it's shooting as you can see it is shooting the player again okay so now we need to uh, move the camera a little bit to some uh, to the right side because in most of the third person game the camera is set a little bit on the right side okay not on the center like this and when we do that then the shooting issue will be fixed as well okay so let's do that if we click on player click on camera actually let me just uh, close the game and let me set this up how we will do this First of all, let's move this animator now right there because now everything is working as we expected it to work. And click on the camera pivot and right here you can make this either 0.4 or 5 but I will make this 0.5, okay, the camera pivot position X. And then if we play the game you will notice that the camera will be now a little bit on the right side as you can see. Okay, if you want you can add it to the left side as well okay so now if we shoot something as you can see the player is now not shooting his own self as you can see okay and if we check right here as well as you can see the player didn't hit a single shot on his own body okay so you can just do that if you want and also if you want to zoom in camera a little bit more then you can do that as well you know that just simply change the camera pivot x and y values okay and according to your own liking so now that issue is fixed as well and in the next video we're going to continue our work on the shooting mechanics